Baby girl, it's time for the Wrestling doing? Mayhem show. Remember when. What are you doing? Everything is awesome. What is remember so when? This week on Remember <laughs> When. Remember <laughs> when. <laughs> LB's not here now. It's, it's all going off the rails, but quietly, apparently. We had to fill in. Of course, uh, joining us on the lines, we got, of course, the Riz. Uh, we're also joined by Wheels and the main, the, one of the mainstreams, as we established last segment. <laughs> Matt Carlins has joined us as well. <laughs> Hi, we're the mainstreams. <laughs> it sounds really dirty coming out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather be the mainstream or the side stream, though? They're not the dribbles. They're the mainstream. Don't trust the mainstream. Oh, God, no. Sorg, no. Oh, On that note, Sorg, um, no. so, so, of course, we talked about, you know, it's going to be a, a, a great pay-per-view party from the sounds of things here uh, this Sunday for Elimination Chamber. And realizing this may be the last time we go all out for a pay-per-view party in the form it is now with WWE Network, uh, you know, starting with WrestleMania and everything. So, and I think, Mike, you actually came up with this idea. No, uh, Matt did. Matt Mr. maybe Mr. Made, came up. Mr. Somebody Mason. came up with this idea <laughs> uh, about epic pay-per-view yeah, parties. So this is more of a self-experience, less than a wrestling kind of discussion, I think. Um, so let's get a little introspective and uh, who wants to tell us about their uh, epic pay-per-view party of, uh, of, of all-time memory? Well, Sorg, I don't know if um, any of you guys are old enough to remember, but wrestling, uh, watching wrestling used to be a social experience that you did with other people. And um, no. I remember going to a great pay-per-view party for WrestleMania 2000 that they delivered with the entire day. Of WrestleMania highlights on pay per view. Yep, all day WrestleMania. So I really only got there about halfway through it, but all I remember is just like the mass of humanity at my friend's house. It was like two rooms full of people. There was like 30 or 40 people at this house. And that's just like, it, that's a perfect, just like snapshot of what it was like watching wrestling in that era. Just everybody watched it. That was just there was no questions about it. No one did it alone or was embarrassed about it. Everyone was like WrestleMania, sure, everybody, come on over. You know, I don't know what happened to all those guys, but um, yeah, that's that's what it was all about for me back in those days. You know, and, and I'll, I'll second that because that's actually what I was going to mention. The all day long, I had a few friends come over from from school, um, and and I watched all day long. I still have the VHS of all day long. That we recorded, um, which, if you don't know, uh, most of those segments, of course, there was a lot of like fan access kind of s stuff, too, where they were like sitting on a podium talking about you know what was coming up at WrestleMania. But most of the actual kind of flashback segments, if you have the um, History of WrestleMania coffee table book that comes with a DVD, it's yep. most of those segments are included on the DVD. Um, mm -hmm. So that was that was kind of cool if you want to you know find that kind of stuff. I wonder if that'll be on the network. Yeah, yeah, it could be on the network, stuff. too. I mean, the stuff's been kind of done and redone over and over again um, as far as, like, all those all that flashback back material. Uh, plus, it's not in HD, probably. So, that's a thing. Um, so. so, you do get to hear that sweet Coliseum video music. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Coliseum Videos presents... WrestleMania. Those were the days. Coliseum Those Video presents days. UK Rampage 93. Other than that, so I have my <laughs> own, so I'm not completely piggyback, uh, piggybacking off of Matt here. Um, one of my friends still went to, I, I think I, I probably still, no, I don't I don't think I still went there because I'm, it's after we started a Mayhem show. Um, I don't know whose apartment it was. <laughs> it <laughs> might have been Chad the Shads amongst amongst others, but I remember Steam Machine being there, I think LB was, and it was the WrestleMania, I remember distinctly, it was the WrestleMania where Mickey James took on Trish Stratus. <laughs> because here's a room full of college guys, and then, you know, the Mickey James V signal lick thing happened, 
and everybody just came completely unglued. And it's back when we were more violent <laughs> as a as a group as well. Um, so so that was I remember that being probably one of maybe the uh, most epic party as connected to a pay per view <clears throat> I was part of. Who's next? Sorg, not many matches have been won with Mime Cunnilingus. Not many. That's true. That's true. That maybe, is true. Maybe maybe one or two. Yeah. And they're all probably in Glow or Wrestlelicious. <laughs> yeah. Who's next? Um, right, I'll, I'll go next. All right, go for it, Riz. Uh, one of the ones that I... Now, now let, let's be fair. Gambling is illegal. Please do not do it. Illegally. Just pointing that out there. From your friends at the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Um, but there was... At a point in my, like, I went to a friend's house for WrestleMania 21, I believe. And what we, there was eight of us there. Or eight of us? Six of us there. Six of us. I remember perfectly now. Um, and all we did was we just put a dollar in, in a big pot. And... The winner of the elimination, uh, elimination chamber, the Money in the Bank ladder match, the first one they had, uh, would get the pot. <laughs> and it was one of the first times I was excited to cheer for Christian. Yeah. <laughs> one of the <laughs> only Probably times the only time. <laughs> I was excited to cheer for Christian. And of course he lost and I was down a dollar. <laughs> As my as my lunch money, um, but just being there with it was actually my first party to, of wrestling related to go to, and since then I really like going to parties. You like going to parties? I like going to parties. I like parties. I like parties. I like parties. Mike, I like, like parties. Party. Mike, what kind of parties do you like? I like my. <laughs> um. Well, I, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna paint a little word picture for you, Sorg. Oh, um, I like word pictures. All right. Uh, the the date is April fourth, nineteen ninety three. I was a fresh face in wrestling, just getting into it, and um, I was just getting my friends into it back in, I think we were in the fifth grade, and it was WrestleMania was four days before my birthday. So I decided I didn't want to have McDonald's. I didn't want to have bowling. I wanted to have a wrestling birthday party. <laughs> so I made a trivia game about all of the years, events that happened from WrestleMania 8 to WrestleMania 9. Uh, we, went, we ordered from Little Caesars, and we had the huge, giant 40 slice pizzas. Mm -hmm. There were like giant rectangles. We ordered about five of them. Wow. And and my mother made Hulk Hogan lollipops. The crap. Like <laughs> oh. Hulk Hogan chocolate lollipops. She found oh. a mold of Hulk Hogan like doing the, the brother pose. And she took red and yellow chocolate and she made different versions of Hulk Hogan. And yes, she painted the mustache on every single one of them. Nice. And we watched WrestleMania 9. And it was awesome, because we got to see the Macho Toga. We got to see Heenan coming backwards on a camel. We got to see JR in a toga. And we all kind of got mad at my mom. Well, not not got mad, but we, we predicted, we said that she was like a prophet, because she made the Hulk Hogan lollipops. And, of course, WrestleMania 9, that's the one where Hogan came in at the end and won the WWE title. So that was my first wrestling party that I threw. It's the one that instantly came to mind, and it was fantastic. Epic. Epic. So, Mike, I have a question for you with the lollipops. Did you guys yes. bite the heads off them first? I did, yes, because I was not a Hogan fan. Yeah. Oh, brother. What about you, oh, Wills? Brother. Uh, wrestling parties. Honestly, the... Latest ones I've gone to are like up here at Cal U, and you find a lot of wrestling fans because of that. And I think it was two years ago from WrestleMania, 
and we all sat at one table betting on the rock Cena. Well, not even betting, just making a friendly wager of who was for the rock, who, who was for Cena. And it was just so much fun because, of course, I was pro rock of anything. So we sat there and made a side bet with the one girl who wanted Cena to win. And we're like, if you lose, you have to go sit out next to the poster and take a picture of you kissing the rock. And of course we won. So we got to take that picture and that's wrestling fun for me for paid for views. Awesome. How about you, Bobby? Did someone say, damn, that's a fine rock. <laughs> <laughs> that's another show. That was the that other was show. That was boss yeah. battle. Number 80. <laughs> if you want to check that out, it's circling to begin.com. Um, <laughs> what about yeah, you, Bobby? I, I, I have one. Yeah, uh, a couple actually. When when we we all meet at Buffalo Wild Wings, those are always good. Um, my favorite one was yeah. when for Money in the Bank two years ago. Yeah, uh, I remember that. Just Bobby. that crowd when when CM Punk won over Cena and took the belt and ran was just amazing. I, I remember so, that for so a much fun, reason, Bobby. Huh? I remember that for a different reason. Oh no, that was that was in the summertime. That was that was Royal Rumble. You're was, thinking of. Oh yeah, it's Royal Rumble. Never mind. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah it was no, fun. No, it was and then, and there was another one that I remember uh, WrestleMania going with AJ. Uh, AJ and, and Abby came to Johnstown uh, for a hockey game. It was actually one of the last Chief games. And then we all we all went to um, Buffalo Wild Wings for the pay per view, and we had to stand for most of the night because it was packed. And then finally, somebody like left at the bar, so we like just wheedled our way in and got the seats and and, and just had a blast. So it was fun. <laughs> awesome. Um, and I think that's everybody. If I didn't miss anyone, um, and of course, if you uh, have any pay per view, oh, parties... sorry, sorry to interrupt. Yeah, my my wife wants me to mention that when we watched WrestleMania 28 together, that was like the first pay per view that I had purchased. In years and years and years and years and years, it was the end of a very long hiatus. And when The Rock beat John Cena, she leaped into my arms like the end of Dirty Dancing, and we like <laughs> spun around in circles because we're so happy The Rock had won. It was a special moment. I think I said, I think I said, Skittle Doo. Skittle Doo. Skittle Doo. Don't judge me. I said Skittle Doo. 